mataimakin shugaban kasar Rashi a majalisar dinkin duniya Dimitri ya fito yayi martani ga wannan batu inda ya bayyana cewa kin amincewar da Kip tai ba na baban birnin Ukraine da wannan sasantawa na a tsagaita wuta saboda fikin kirsin meti ina nuni da cewa kasar Ukraine ta si yadda mutananta ga kasashen yamma kasar Ukraine ta yadda a halaka mutananta a salwantar da su ta salwantar da al'ummata saboda biyan bukatar kasar lokacin shugaban kasar Amurka da na Germany suka hada akan zara su ci gaba da bata tallafin makame masu hadari wannan tuni shugaba Biden da kansa ya shelanta cewa akwai wasu motocin yaki na musamman wadanda suke dauke da makaman nuclear guda 50 wanda ya sadaukar da su ga Ukraine domin ta ci gaba da yakar rashi haka a gefe daya shi ma Emmanuel Macron ya bayyana mu baya a dukan yabo da jinjina su tabbata ga Allah madaukakin sarki yabo da aminci su tabbata ga yayin halitta na bin tsira na bin rahma annabi muhammad da alayin sa da sahaban sa baki daya baya ka yan uwa masu kallo assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh barka mu da saduwa a wannan lokaci insha Allah ta'ala a yanzu zamu tattauna game da rashin fahinta da aka samu tsakanin kasar rasha da ukraine game da tsagaita wuta saboda bakin kirsimeti na wato ko wani nau'i na wasu kristoci yan kungiyar orthodox ko yan cocin orthodox kun san kaman da kuka sani ko addinin musulunci mutane ba su hada kan fahinta dai ba to haka in ka je kristoci su ma kala kala ne wanda mu ma musulunci za ka je a kotin janiya izala qadiriya da sauran su to su ma haka kristocin suka rabu kala kala bikin kirsimeti da muka sani ana yi a ranar 25 ga watan desamba akwai da yawa daga cikin kristoci wadanda suka saba a cikin watan ba kwanda babu yadda cewa an haifi annabi isa a watan desamba bane wanda suke ganin an haife shi ne a watan januari su ne wadannan na kristocin cocin orthodox su ba su ma yadda cewa an haife shi a 25 ga watan desamba ba ba su yadda an haife shi a desamba ba lis dauke ranar 25 a matsayin ranar bikin haihuwarsa sai na bikin ranar haihuwarsa ne tsakanin shida zuwa ga bakwai ga watan januari yayin da banda su kuma a gefe daya akwai wadanda su gabaɗaya ma ba su yadda da kirsimitin ba akwai wasu na nau'i na kristoci mai biya cocin ina ji katolika ne wasu daga cikin su wani dai nau'i na kristoci ne da sun kwanta mun suna cewa kirsimeti wata bid'a ce da aka kago a cikin addinin na christianity annabi isa bai ba da umarni da shi ba ba addini bane ba suna fada da shi to wadannan kristocin na orthodox suna da matukar yawa a kasar rasha su suna bukin kirsimeti ne a ranar shida zuwa bakwai ga watan januari to kamar inda muke gani yau muna cikin bakwai ga wata kaga daga ranar bikin zai fara shi za a fara shi din bikin kenan tun daga ranar 5 ga wata kenan alhamis zuwa shida ga wata to kaga kenan a yanzu ana cikin tsakiyar gudanar da wannan biki an gudanar da wannan biki a yau asabar din nan bakwai ga watan januari shekara ta 2023 a fadin kasar wato rasha da kuma kasar ukraine duka wadannan kasashe sun gudanar da wannan biki da wasu ma daga cikin kasashen turai wadanda suke bin wannan gida bari mu sanya muku wani bangare na bidiyo ku ga yanda bikin ya wuta Russian Orthodox Christians packed churches on Friday evening for Christmas Eve services, a holiday darkened for many by the conflict raging between Orthodox neighbors Russia and Ukraine. Patriarch Kirill led services at Moscow's Christ Church, the Savior Cathedral. A day earlier, Kirill called for a 36-hour ceasefire in Ukraine, which President Vladimir Putin agreed to, but that Ukrainian officials scorned as an attempt to allow Russian forces to regroup. Ukrainians on Friday attended Orthodox Christmas Eve Mass in the city of Bucha, which experienced destruction and widespread abuses when Russian troops held it at the beginning of the war. In another war-torn land, Christians celebrating in Bethlehem, in the occupied West Bank, in the Church of the Nativity venerated by Christians as the traditional site of the birthplace of Jesus. saboda ke ayi rayi kan al'umma na wadanda suke kristoci mabiya wannan aqida wadanda suke yan rashi da wadanda suke yan ukraine shugaban fastocin kasar rasha ya nemi shugaba putin da ya nemi a tsakaita wuta a cikin wannan yakin don mutane su gabatar da wannan baki na addinin nasu cikin natsuwa da kwanciyar hankali wanda kuma hakan shi yafi kyau to shugaba putin ya ji wannan kira da wannan fasto yi masa inda ya nemi da a tsakaita wuta ya nemi ukraine da a tsakaita wuta tsawon wato ko awa 36 har kristoci su gama gabatar da wannan biki to amma kuma ukraine din tai biris da wannan nema na putin inda suka ce za su amince a tsagaita wuta domin kristocin orthodox su yi biki amma bisa sharɗin cewa rasha ta janye sojin ta da dakarunta a yankuna da tamamai 
dan ta janye su su kuma sun yi da tsagaito ta ma'ana dai yukaran bata karbi wannan kirin yadda aka mata ba Washington ta yi magana akan batun inda shugaba Biden yace wannan abin da Putin yayi abin da Riyan inda ita kuma yukaran din take masalta hakan da cewa wata yaudara ce zalla Putin ya fito da ita domin ya dakile ci gaban da yukaran ta fara samu a yankin Donbas tare da yin amfani da wannan damar wajen shigo da karin soji da makamai cikin yankunan da ta mamaye wannan shine abin da Uh, wato shi Zelensky ya martani bai amshi kiran da Putin yana a tsagaita wuta bisa umarnin wancan fasto don mutane su yi bikin Christmas ba to duk da haka a ranar Alhamis Putin ya sanar da tsagaita wuta din a Ukraine ita rashi ta tsagaita tsawon wato a wani 36 zai fara daga tsakar daren ranar Juma'a e, kamar da fadar Kremlin ta sanar bisa bukatar shugaban kasar Russia wanda Kirill shugaban fastocin kasar ya nemi a yi hakan Rasha ta sanar wanda zamu ji cewa ba ta kai hara-hara daga ranar Alhamis din daga tsakiyar daren Juma'a din wanda yau ce ranar Bakwai yau ne za a wato wa'adin zai kare a yau ne za a ainihin wato ko kammala wannan biki to bayan Rasha a Ukraine ta ki amincewa da wannan kiranye a haƙiƙa Rasha ta fasata kuma shugaban matimakin shugaban kasar Rasha a majalisar dinkin duniya Dmitry ya fito yayi martani ga wannan mutu inda bayyana cewa kin amincewar da Kim tai ma na babban birnin Ukraine da wannan sasantawa na a tsagaita wuta saboda bikin kirsimeti ina nuni da cewa kasar Ukraine ta siyar da mutananta ga kasashen yamma kasar Ukraine ta yadda a halaka mutananta a salwantar da su ta salwantar da al'ummarta saboda biyan bukatar kasashen yamma wannan shine martanan da Rasha tai hakan ya sa mutane sun fara nazari akan batun inda ake ganin cewa kin amsar tsagaita wuta da Ukraine tai ya fasatar da Rasha fasatar wanda Rasha take ganin cewa nan gaba Ukraine za ta iya neman sulhu da ita a daidai lokacin da sulhu zai zama amfani ga ita kadai Ukraine din tunda ita yanzu Rasha tana neman sulhu ne cikin abin da amfanin kowa da kowa ne da shafi addinin Kristo ci gaba daya amma basu amince ba to tana ganin nan gaba idan wani wata gaba ta zo Rasha za ta tsananta har har akan Ukraine Ukraine za ta iya neman sulhu amma Rasha ba za ta amince ba yayin da suke ganin cewa wannan kalaman na mutumin shugaba Putin a majalisar dinkin duniya kalamai ne da suke ishara da cewa Rasha za ta ci gaba da kai miya gun hare-hare an kara fasatar da ita to duk wannan duba batun zai fahimci cewa kullum ana kara amfani da Ukraine wajen fasatar da Rasha wanda hakan yake kare karfafar fikiran masu cewa wataƙila kasashen yamma sun yi amfani da Ukraine ne domin su yaki Rasha sai zaba da Rasha a zahiri tana fada da Ukraine amma a haƙiƙa tana fada ne da kasashen yamma shi yasa zamu ga cewa bayan wannan kirba ainihin wato ku kira da Putin yana a sulhunta wannan yaki a tsagaita wuta domin kirsitoci su bikin kirsimeti duka cikin wato awa 34 yukuran bata amince ba a daidai wannan lokacin shugaban kasar Amurka da na Germany suka hada akan zara su ci gaba da bata tallafin makamai masu hadari wannan tuni sun gabatar da wasu nauyi na motocin yaki masu dauke da makamai masu lin zami wannan da za su tura wa Ukraine domin ta ci gaba da fafatawa da kasar Russia. Baka haka shugaba Biden da kansa ya shelanta cewa akwai wasu motocin yaki na musamman wadanda suke dauke da makaman nuclear guda 50 wanda ya sadaukar da su ga Ukraine domin ta ci gaba da yakar Russia. Haka a gefe daya shi ma Emmanuel Macron ya bayyana mu bayi asa na cewa zai ci gaba da tallafa Ukraine domin yaki da Russia. Wannan guzuri da aka kara wa Ukraine a daidai wannan lokacin ya kara karfafar cewa kasashen Turai suna kara tsorata da Russia sosai da sosai. Musamman muka duba kalaman da shi Zelensky yana cewa Putin ya nemi tsagaita wannan wutan ne domin ya kara shigo da soji a karo makamai. To kaga kenan kasashen Turai sun gamsu da wannan tunanin na Zelensky shi yasa suke kara wa wato Ukraine guzuri a daidai wannan lokacin. To ba shakka yakin Ukraine da Russia ya fara fuskantar mauyancin hali. Shi yasa zamu ga cewa kakin kakakin majalisar fadar shugaban kasar Turkiya Ibrahim Khalil ya tsoratar da mutane game da wannan yaki inda ya bayyana cewa wannan yakin na Russia da Ukraine zai kara tsananta a watanni masu zuwa wanda hakan da iya bayyuwa ga salwantar rayukan mutane da dama tare da fada raunata wasu da dama game da asarar dukiya ne yawa sai dai daga bisani musamman rahotanni a yanzu yanzu nan ba da jimawa ba bayan Ukraine ta ki amsa yarjejeniyar da Russia ta nema na a tsagaita wuta da kallon Russia sun kai wani mummunan farmaki a yankuna da yawa na biranen Ukraine daga cikin akwai Mahmud da Donetsk wanda hakan ya bayyana kashi sojojin Russia kimanin mutun 120 da wani abu kamar yadda jaridar Moscow Times da CNN suka wallafa cewa wadannan hare-hare sun ci gaba bayan Russia ta wato Ukraine ta ki karbar yarjejeniyar da Putin ya zo ita na wato ko tsagaita wuta kamar yadda muka fada a baya Putin ya nemi a tsagaita wuta ne bisa 
wato umarnin shugaban cocin Orthodox CNN ta wallafa cewa shugaba Putin ya yabawa shugaban cocin Orthodox tare da mabiyan cocin bisa goyen bayan mamayar Russia ga Ukraine da suka yi akwai ababan tambaya guda biyu a cikin wannan abu na farko shine hararan da Russia ta ci gaba da kaiwa akan Ukraine bayan wannan yarjejeniya da Putin ya nema Ukraine ta ki amincewa da umarnin wasa ka ci gaba da kai har hari kamar da jaridar Moscow Times ta wallafa wato ba da umarnin Putin bane duk da ya ba da umarnin a tsagaita wuta daga bangaren sa amma da kar Russia sun ci kai gaba da kai farmaki akan wato sojojin Ukraine abun tambaya na biyu anan shine shin da Ukraine ta amince da za a tsagaita wuta din bisa yanda Putin ya nema shin sojojin Russia ba za su saba alƙawari ba su ci gaba da kai farmaki tun daga shi zuma shugaban kasar su ya ba da umarni a tsagaita amma duk da haka suka ci gaba da kai farmaki sai dai a yace wa wata ila sun ci gaba da kai farmaki ne saboda kin amincewar wato su bangaren Ukraine din domin kuwa da yana daga cikin dabarun yaki ka kai farmaki akan makinka tun gabanin ya kawo maka wallahu ta'ala a'lam to saboda haka in muka duba abun da hankulan mu za mu fanci cewa yakin Russia da Ukraine alamu suna ta nuni cewa ya fara fuskantar wato yakin duniya na uku idan muka duba yanda kasashen turi ke ƙara curewa waje guda ba su da shirin tsagaitawa a wannan yaki kamar ita ma Russia kwata kwata ba ta da shirin tsagaitawa kuma kasashen da suke kawance ce ne ita kullun suna ƙara kwasantarta suna ƙara kwasantarta suna ƙara ƙarfafa alƙasu da ita to wannan yana nuni da cewa waɗannan manyan kasashe suna ƙara kafa sansani domin fafatawa a yakin duniya na uku sai sai yanzu halin da muke ciki a cikin waɗannan shekarun da muke ciki ana jin tsoron a wannan yanayin da muke ciki shekara ta 2023 da shekarar da za ta biyo bayan inda abin bai lafa ba zai wahala ka ga wannan yakin bai juya ko ma yakin duniya na uku ba dan wannan take to shi sa a dage da addu'a Allah ubangiji ya iya fa abin ruwan sanyi domin aka yakin duniya na uku kowa sai dan da na kodar sa kada kaitakka da wasu ta sa kai fatan yaki yaki ba alkhairi bane daima a in ba kuma ta ba a shirin da ya gabata mun ka muku magana wani marubuci dan kasar Faransa wanda ya ce wannan yakin ko zai lafa sai ya kai ki bani shekaru 12 ga to wannan kuma ya fada ne ba wahayi ake masa ba kawai hasashe da yanayin yanda suka dauko yakin gaba daya bangaro ribin ba wanda yake da shirin wato ko tsagaita wuta ba wanda yake da shirin a kawo ƙarshen yakin duk da yake a baki suna maganar sulhu sulhu to amma ina magana ta kwana babu ita a yanzu sai dai muka ƙara duba abin da kyau za mu fahimci daga ina fitinar ta fi ƙarfi kusan in muka duba abin da kyau za mu ga cewa fitinar ta fi ƙarfi daga bangaren Ukraine domin jajar cewa da Ukraine take babu yanda za a kace gashin kanta take ci musamman ga tallafi tana samu da kasashen da ake zargin wadannan kasashe sune suke ƙara ƙarfafa rura wuta abin domin biyan wasu manyan bukatun su sannan kuma kamar da na fada cewa fitinar ta fi ƙarfi daga janibanta me yasa zai da ake magana maslaha da ta shafi addini masu amincewa a ƙarshe muna roƙon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya ba mu lafiya da zama lafiya ya mana magana abin da ya fi ƙarfin mu wa sallallahu wa baraka ala nabiyyina muhammad wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wassalamu alaikum